Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we will discuss the last problem of Lead Code Weekly Contest 297. Uh, it's a hard table problem. The problem name is naming a company. So the problem statement says that you are given an, in, an array of string ideas that represent a list of names to be used in the process of naming a company. Now the process of naming a company is as follows. Choose two distinct names from ideas. Uh, let's call them idea A and idea B. Swap the first letters of idea A and idea B with each other and if both of the new names are not found in the original ideas then uh, the name idea concatenated with idea B that means concatenate idea A and idea B that is a valid company name otherwise it is not a valid name so that means given given an array of strings choose two names swap the first letter of both of them and if both of them both the new strings are not present in the ideas then that means you can concatenate both of them and that will be a valid company name so we need to return the number of distinct valid names for the company let's try to see this with the help of an example so this is the idea string that we have so the following selections are valid if we select these two and we swap c and d then the company name created is uh, doffy conuts because the word doffy is not in the original array and similarly the word conuts is also not in the original array right uh, similarly donuts and coffee so we see that again that will have a same combination so conut and doffy again that 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 is not in the original array we can see that we have used the same words but the order is different so that is why these are counted as two separate company names uh, similarly if we if we if we so these are the valid selections uh, let's look some of the invalid selections so if we select coffee and time so this will become toffee and this will become cime time but the word toffee formed after swapping already exists in the original array so that means one of the two new words exist in the array so we you you can't uh, basically use it to create a valid name and so on so total six combinations are valid uh, if we, if we look into the second example so only one possibility is there so this will become back this will become lack now both of them are present so we don't have any valid combination now the constraints say that uh, we can have 5 into 10 to power 4 words the length of each word can go up to 10 and uh, it it consists of lowercase characters and all the uh, all these strings given are unique so let's try to see how we can approach this type of problem uh, let me go to the whiteboard just a second let me choose a pen yeah okay so suppose we have some words suppose we have an array and we have some words uh, just a second it is taking some time uh, let me increase it okay so yeah so suppose i have some 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 strings basically so given two string what we can do suppose we have a string a b c right and we have another string suppose x y z right so it says that you can select two string and swap the uh, first letter of both these strings so a brute force approach could be a brute force approach could be that we have n words at in each iteration what we do uh, like at, at at every step what we can do we can select two words word one and word two we can swap the first letters we can check whether those any like both of them whether they are not present in the original array or not and they, then if both of them are not present we increment our answer that will be a brute force approach and the time complexity for that one will be we go of n square when n is the number of words that we have right that is that is the brute force approach now if we notice some things here then how many total characters do we have we have only small case characters right so we can have total 26 characters 26 possibilities for each and every index like for example if we have a b c then suppose we have infinite number of strings in the array right but what are the possibilities of the resultant string that is formed if we transform this string right if you transform what are the possibilities so we can only swap the first character so a b c is already there so this position can have 25 more possibilities that those are so a b c is already there we can replace it by b b so it become b b c then it becomes c b c it becomes d b c and so on so since we can replace only the first character so we have 26 possibilities that can be present one is already there and rest 25 can be swapped right so these are the 
25 possibilities now yeah so now what we can do is that instead of going with the on square approach what we can do is that uh, if we can for every string suppose for a string a b c we generate the 25 other possibilities we generate the 25 other possibilities and see that if i convert suppose if i convert this a into z this a into z right if i convert a into z then whether it is a valid conversion or not how i will check it i'll convert a into z the string becomes z b c and then i check it uh, that whether it is present in the original string or not now checking in o1 time can be done by like what we can do is that we can we can create a set and then we can put all the words of ideas in that and we can check whether the set contains zbc or not so that will give us the result in o1 time uh, i think there is some l lag with uh, like what i am writing and probably what displayed on the string so i'll i'll, I'll try to resolve it but I'll try my level best so that <laughs> the issue doesn't uh, come in the video afterwards. So, yeah, again, so we'll, we'll generate all the possibilities. So, it will be somewhat like if I convert A to Z, whether it is a valid combination or not, and how many such combinations can be there. Like for one string, obviously, there can be only one combination that you convert A to Z. But instead of A, B, C, suppose we have A, X, Y, right? And again, if we convert it, so this becomes z y sorry z x y right so here again we get the same pair a z here also we were getting a z so that means the combination a z will now have a count two that since it's a valid combination we have two possibilities for this particular conversion right now actually what this is telling us this is that the number of valid possibilities of converting the character from a to z is two but to 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 make a valid pair we should also have a combination where z is converted to a right because what this actually is telling out of the two strings suppose a b c and z x y what we are trying to do is that we are trying to swap it we are trying to swap it so a to z needs to be a valid combination but z to a also needs to be a valid combination right so we do it for all the pairs we will have 26 into 26 possibilities reason being yeah uh, yeah we'll have this much of possibilities so now pick up every string pick up every string in ideas and compute that how many valid combinations are there when we can convert character 1 to character 2 now here character 1 can have 26 possibilities and character 2 can have 26 possibilities so it will be 26 cross 26 number of possibilities we will have the frequency and then what we can simply do is that suppose a to z has three possibilities and z to a have two possibilities then we can just simply multiply it and we get that total we'll have six possibilities for this one because suppose this tells that there are th three strings which which can be converted from a to z so suppose those strings are a b c a d b and a x y suppose these are the c three strings okay and similarly for z we have z uh, z b z c z d so now what we can do we can make a pair of this a b c with all the three of them right we can make a pair of a d b with all three of them and similarly for all three of them right so for, so, so for this only what we do we have total how many combinations we have this much of three combinations right and then we'll check that how many combinations we have for z so here for z to a also we will have three possibilities because th this can be combined with all three this can be combined with all three this can be combined for all three so suppose these two are three and three so we can see we can just multiply and we see that we have total nine combinations so instead of using a brute force approach we can we can work smartly here that okay uh, we will we'll generate all the possibilities and we can see whether that is present or not so yeah let's try to see the implementation actually implementation is pretty simple for this one the, the main thing was logic here so if, if i come to the implementation then the first thing we are adding each and every word into the set so that we can search for the presence of a word in one time and then this is the frequency array that how many possibilities are there when we convert character one from character two right so it's a 26 cross 26 array and this is the first character now 
we replace uh, we replace the first character with all the 26 possibilities obviously we can omit the first character possibility but just for the simplicity adding an extra if, if condition so that is why i have done this and if that is not present then we increment the count that you can convert the first character into the current character what is the current character it is j right we increment the count so we do it for all these strings and finally what we can do we traverse that uh, okay if if we convert i to j so this is the count of converting i to j and this is the count of converting j to i right so we multiply it and we get the total number of possibilities and finally we return the answer uh, if i talk about the time complexity for this one then again in in this case what we are doing we are traversing the array so if we have n words so this is n and then inside this what we are doing <coughs> we have uh, we are doing it 26 times right for for each so it is 26 cross n and obviously a creation of string and all that internally takes time so if we if we skip that then generally it is happening for uh 26 into n uh so that will be big o of n only and lastly this is again this is constant because this will always be 26 cross 26 so the overall time complexity will be linear only and if i talk about the space then extra space taken here is, here is for set and this is also constant space 26 cross 26 and then we are good to go so uh, i i hope you learn something new from this video do support this video by giving up a thumbs up uh, also do subscribe to the channel and uh, take care see you in the next video bye bye